Who am I? A simple question most of us take for granted, but for some, it's not as simple as you might think. Well, historically, a person with a drop of so-called black blood is considered black by the world around them. But in 2018, some people have challenged traditional notions of racial identity in America. We're exploring this issue during Black History Month. Minister Shane Perry met his wife Latoya while visiting a church in Alabama. I was in a service and in that service I saw the most beautiful woman that I'd ever seen in my life. He asked her out. The Douglasville couple says dating someone of a different race wasn't an issue for them. They'll celebrate 11 years of marriage in March and are the parents of four young children. Kids are very young. They're nine. I have twin seven-year-olds and a three-year-old. So, like, I really have to speak to them on their level. And, of course, as they get older, we'll go into more and more detail. But for now, I just want them to understand that mom is black, dad is white, you are biracial. But we are wise enough to understand that society will still see our children as black. And on a whole, there's no way to get around that. To help us put the money together. So the Perrys make a conscious effort to teach their kids about their African American heritage, knowing that as biracial children with one black parent, many in society, as it's been for generations, will still identify them solely as African American. And so it's important that they understand the African American experience, that they understand certain things about life that come with being an African American, you know, especially in America. So that's important important to us. According to the Pew Research Center, in 1970, just 1% of American babies were of mixed race. That number rose to 10% in 2013. And with interracial marriages also on the rise, demographers expect this rapid growth to continue in coming decades. Chef Michael Walker's father is black and his mother is Korean. He loves preparing fusion food, mixing his two culinary cultures. But cooking this meal has been easier than growing up mixed. It was hard to kind of fit in with, with um, one particular race. With a shift in demographics the past decade, Walker has grown from feeling forced to pick a side to embracing his mixed heritage. Walker says his father's family, who he spent a great deal of time with as a child after his father's death, were a great help. They made it a point to let us know that, hey, you guys are different. Um, you guys are Korean, you are African American, and that makes you special. That makes you two cultures. So you guys have two different cultures to relate your ancestry back to. Since moving to Atlanta, Walker has connected with the Red Bridge Society, a support group for members of the Blasian community to embrace all parts of their identity. I feel like I shouldn't be forced to pick one side or one or the other um, because it's not who I am. You know, I'm, I'm a mixture of both and when I eventually have kids one day, I want my kids to know, hey, this is who your dad is. Your dad comes from this side and this side and there's more to it than, you know, just the world would, look, would think just by looking at a person. And that's what the Perrys want for all our children. Because if we're going to change society, if we're going to change the way things are, if we're going to have an impact, then at some point there has to be a generation that stands up and says, look, we're all people. 